Hey, fool with you today. But are you ready? Yes. Let's get to it. <laughs> What's up, everybody? We're the Sipping Sisters. I'm Kim. I'm Jennifer. And we're here to bring you another episode review of Married to Medicine, Season 6, Episode 4. What's the title of this episode? Emotional Workout. Yeah, I got an emotional workout just watching it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But before we get started, today's drink, well, it's a shot. It's called a cinnamon roll. Hmm. Hmm. Cute. Yeah. Let's see. You ready? Drink up. Drink down. Yeah, drink yeah. Drink all around. Nice drink, motherfucker. Drink. What you think? My my whipped cream at the bottom. You hate that? Don't scare if I need a spoon. Take a sticky tongue down here like that. <laughs> it's not a jello shot. Nope. <laughs> okay. Well, this week's episode starts off hmm. where it ended last week. At Heavenly's house. At the crab bowl. <laughs> At the crab bowl. So Heavenly is upset with quad yeah. and she was like well just get the f out my house okay girl but i kind of see what quad was coming from her whole purpose in not coming around was to be treated just the way she got treated don't nobody want to be around it mm, yeah because i mean true enough she did her wrong but don't nobody want to be around it i don't i wouldn't want to be i wouldn't have showed up Man. No. Yeah. So Heavenly get mad and she go out there running and raving to Toy and Mariah. They just sitting out there all calm, <laughs> chilling, <laughs> minding their business. And I'm like, I'm still trying to figure Heavenly. out how did Heavenly and Mariah get into it? Heavenly bought up shit from the past. That's what happened. <laughs> she said, if she can forgive her. <laughs> and but it did flash back to my favorite episode when ever. Got her at that party with that purse. <laughs> oops, oops. Side her head with a purse. <laughs> oops, oops. I kind of wish I could go upside her head. little neck. Oh, Jesus. But yes. I was happy to see that little flashback But scene. you know what? Production, they some messy queens up you in there. You got Andy Be Cohen. <laughs> Andy is the messiest of all. all of a sudden, they talking. <laughs> Heavenly comes and talking sideways at Mariah. And she just sitting there. <laughs> you forgave her. And then they flash that dang fight. That was funny though. Because what I you guess not going to do. People would have put two and two together. Because oh, I don't Lord think I would have put two and two together. That that's what Heavenly was referring to. But it was funny because I got to see my favorite fight. That was, at the food bar. That was quite with a funny purse. that night. Yeah. When it happened. So Heavenly projects her anger out on Mariah. Which I, you know I like Mariah. And I, I will check Mariah when she wrong. But Mariah was just sitting there minding her business. And then what Mariah said, I come with receipts and invoices, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see these receipts and invoices. Girl, what you got? Because you keep going on Facebook Live talking about you got receipts. But you have to also pay attention to the wording that she uses. Yes. She didn't say Damon was cheating on Heavenly. She said she knows a lot of people that have been with Damon. That doesn't mean they ain't cheating, girl. And uh, a little, I guess we'll get into that later on when they had their little conversation. And yeah. That made me say, I'm going to ride back the whole tricks again. You think? Yes. Mm. Being messy. 
I'm thinking yeah. she the queen bee. But her and Heavenly going back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> this summer girl said, your house is nasty. You need a hazmat suit up in this bitch. Pressure wash this <laughs> motherfucker. Pressure wash this nasty motherfucker is what she said. Oh, that Jesus. was funny. I Ooh, just was like, where did that come from with this woman's house? That came from Because if it were that blue. nasty, I would have never showed up. Exactly. Or tried to eat. So, I don't know where that came from, but it was good TV. So, after they get into it, having to go back up in there and check on Quad, and she apologizing. She should have been apologizing to Mariah, because Mariah didn't do anything to her. Well, Mariah was gone. Yeah, Mariah was gone. She exit stage left. She didn't have to get kicked out. She will leave this bitch. I leave this mother. But yeah, she was gone, so she couldn't get her apology. She did apologize though. Yeah. And here come Jackie strolling her saintly but ass first, up in but there. But first, but first, Quad asked Simone. Oh yeah. To go speak privately, which yeah. you know. Yeah. I appreciated that, but. Quiet. You, I always need you a Samo because Samo going to keep you in check and that's what she was really doing. She said all my shit is out in the open. Yeah. You ain't telling nothing. Yeah. Yeah. I but I, I could agree it. with Quad when she said she handles her stuff internally. See, Quad is a tourist like me. I can handle my stuff internally. I ain't got to tell nobody. I ain't no tourist, but I do that anyway. So I don't have but to tell But Capricorns are just downright certified crazy <sighs> i can't dispute that mm -mm. well while you disperse I can't. disputing i'm gonna take I me can't. another because it's true it's very true it's damn true all right kurt angle <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that was sweet with them talking and then jacket come strolling in now i wish they would have kept the moment between quad Simone and Jackie a little bit longer before everybody else Ugh, came over there that because just it killed just killed my vibe. Mm. It's like Toya bring her dark damn cloud over. Every time just, I see Ugh. Toya now, I be like, "Bitch, don't kill my vibe. Bitch, don't kill my vibe." She just irks my, my soul. So this season, when I say I want to go through the TV and just shake her, I, I'm not feeling her. I guess. She trying to make these issues with Contessa to have a storyline this season. But Contessa ain't here for it. She not. Like I said, I, I gave Contessa a hard time in the first two reviews. But her and her husband, I'm really feeling I them now. I'm really They real. Them. They super real. Yes. With them bad ass kids. Oh, Jesus. Especially Layla. But I, I'm not going to talk about Layla this episode. I'm not. I'm, I'm not going to talk about her because they ain't show her but 2.5 seconds. Yeah. So I'm not going to talk about her. And mm -hmm. I don't have to talk about Alora this week either because mm -hmm. she won on there. But Alora, she's very mature for her age. It's her mama. That's irritating though. Why is it irritating? I don't know why she's irritating to me. Oh, God. Alora is irritating to me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't think I could sit in a room with her without wanting to throw a shoe at her. I, I just, I don't... Oh, she like George Bush? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna say how that, but Ooh, I don't know. I just, Lord, I can't, I can't deal with a Laura, because she's a little too grown for my my taste. I want her to be a child. But you like I said, what? her mama gotta like that. I just thought about some. Mm -hmm. When Mariah... And Heavenly was getting into it. Why does she got to go in on Miss Lucy like that? You <laughs> know Miss Lucy don't play. Miss Lucy don't Miss play. Miss Lucy get dragged in everything. But he Heavenly I always go for the yo mama, yo mama, but yo mama. Mariah did bring it up first. Mariah <laughs> called. She slung the you mom, yo mama joke first. And Heavenly just responded. Because I was like, uh-huh. That ain't go for to talk about Miss Lucy. Yo mama. Lucy. Lucy don't play that shit. Lucy gonna come out to her with a cane. <laughs> right. But so yes. Hurricane. Yeah, yes. Miss Lucy is always into it. Mm hmm I guess Heaven is secretly like her, though. You think that what it is? She, she might. She might look up to Miss Lucy. She might. She got no mama figure. So her mama, uh, Miss Lucy might remind her of her mama. <laughs> Crazy. Don't know. 
who knows? I guess we'll find out soon. I guess that so. might be why she liked to throw to you, mom, your mama jokes, cause she yeah, ain't got always no, involved in something. Yeah, but still, heaven ain't got no respect for mothers, cause her mama. But you know they kind of touch on that. Mm-hmm. Later, come out with we'll the weird, yeah, with the mm-hmm. weird doctor, yeah. Then the next day, Mariah comes visits Toy. She pushed through in that powder blue. It I was cute. It. I love that little outfit. It was cute. It was real cute. It was cute. Didn't like Toy's outfit, but it was cute. But I don't understand the advice that Mariah gave Toya because Toya is making something so little, minute, so deep. And it's not that deep. It's really not. Because I'm still trying to figure out what the hell. You pissed off because she called you on your bullshit about you having an in the black party and you finna get back in the red. Right. And not to mention, Simone was a part of that conversation. Ding. But she didn't got it. She, she's scared of Simone. She needs to be scared of Contessa ass. Because Contessa can shoot some guns. Yeah. But yeah, I believe she's scared of Simone and she ain't gonna step to her like that. She mm-hmm. think Contessa somebody she can push over with that little soft voice. But now I'm seeing a different side of Contessa. And now. I like I'm starting it. to like I it. Like it. Hmm. Cause she ain't back down from Toya yet. She ain't she living her best life. She Come ain't on. going back and forth with y'all. Come on, Con- Contessa. Smile, bitch. <laughs> Come on, Contessa. So then we go to Contessa. Baby, let me tell you, that little landing had me about to cry because he was so sleeping. And then it's like all his sleep jumped out of him and into me. I got so sleep after seeing that baby. I mean, he could uh, tired. He could uh, keep his eyes open. He was like, I'm so tired. But I'm what so was tired. he doing the night before? That's a good question, but I don't know. But that baby was tired. I mean, you could tell he was tired. He was dead to the bed. <laughs> he probably landed. land Hopefully he got some rest now. Yeah. Man, Contessa and her dad have had another little moment, and I'm just not. <sighs> they keep trying to bring the emotions out of me, and I'm not here for it. I want to be entertained and not sad. And always, when they bring up prostate cancer, it always take me back to our daddy. Yeah. I had it two times. We well, better go there. Next but this, this is just too deep, and I just don't like being in that moment. No, mm-hmm. not watching reality TV. No, I well, understand that's the reality. I understand but, it's mm-hmm. that part of life, but mm-hmm. golly, when we go, we don't went through it two times. I don't want to hear about it no more. Yeah, Look at you. Uh uh-uh. uh, I ain't gonna take but one, maybe two. It's just two. I know. What is in this though? Um, Fireball, A and W cream soda, whipped cream and cinnamon. Hmm. We should have did that cinnamon thing where you put a spoon full of cinnamon in your mouth. You can do it, and I sit here and laugh at you. Mm -mm. I'm not doing it. Mm -mm. I'll pass. Now, Contessa also talks to her dad about his absence and. The illnesses that both of her parents have gone through over the years and how her mama had died of breast cancer mm. which brings us to a deep conversation here mm-hmm. because she opted to go on ahead and do a mastectomy which I think is very brave very brave but she she's trying to live for her family yeah and I can respect that mm-hmm. it's that Angelina Jolie type stuff and that the lady that used to be on CBS News that I think her name crazy. was Renee Seiler who had a double mastectomy because she had the gene in her family I, I commend you I, I, I really do commend you it's, it's very important plan. to um, get your tatas checked and even if it runs through the family if it's an option for you and your insurance can take care of it, do I it. would recommend it. I don't want you going back to the doctor like I have to do every six months to a year just to check to make sure um, that the lumps that you may or may not have are benign or, you know, malignant. So, you know, check the tatas, okay? 
thing wrong with you? That's a serious message. It's how you look. <laughs> what well, you did it. Is it a bitch? <laughs> Are you drunk? Hell no. Far from it. <laughs> I might be a little bit sleep deprived, but no, not drunk. Lord Jesus. So, next is what Jackie and Curtis talking about, Fitney? Yeah. Blah. That Jason's Deli they was eating was looking good, though. Yes. <laughs> I love Jason's Deli. <laughs> it's a shame I know the containers and that little brown bag. Yes. And Jackie gonna chastise him for eating. Hell. I don't blame that him. Man like he let him eat. Girl. One more bite, Curtis. Mm -mm. The whole plate. But when Curtis bear came in, he was bearing gifts. Now, why you give me some damn Chanel perfume? I'm, I'm waiting for a, another Louis or a Birkin. I want no more perfume. Well, it's the thought that counts. At least he got her a gift. She, she want her another Louis too. Because hmm. did you hear her say, that's for her makeup? Y'all, the makeup bag I got is a clear little bat plastic WrestleMania bag that was five dollars, and this one is you rocking a Louis Vuitton to put some <laughs> dirty ass makeup in a bag. Gotcha. Okay, Doctor Jack. You use your WrestleMania bag for your makeup? I switch between it and Green Bay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Those are my makeup bag. Okay, then. Yes, they work good too. I, I bet. <laughs> Yeah, so they're playing in Fitney, but there wasn't really much going on there besides the gifts. And then we got Conte, not Contessa, God damn it, Heavenly. And Dr. Weird. That dude is weird to me. I'm sorry. He likes some out of nightmares. I couldn't go to I sleep. told you he looked like Jesse Jackson Jr., just a light skin version. You rem you I don't think you remember because you were much younger. Mm -hmm. You don't remember the singer Gregory Abbott. Pull up a big picture. Look look for it now. I'm trying no, he Dr. Weird. He's Dr. Weird. And you tell me if he looked like it. Like a light skinned Philip Michael Thomas and a Gregory Abbott. Mixed yeah, together. him? Yeah. <laughs> now that one, yes. <laughs> that's See, that, that's how he used to look when he was younger. It's a weirdo. <sighs> Dr. <Doctor> weird. <laughs> yeah. I swear, like he got a face mask on. Like some serial killers be wearing, like in that movie, Lisa. You remember that movie Lisa and that dude had yeah. that mask on his face? Uh -huh. That's what he that's what he reminded me of. I love of. Lisa. Yes, Lisa's on Friday. Is it? Yeah. I might watch that tonight. Bye. No, I can't because I'm watching Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Oh shit. We got plenty of time. I gotta go to sleep though. I know you do. Jesus, take the wheel. Okay. Eat your ways. <laughs> but he said. <sighs> Emily said, she told that bitch to get out of the house. Because she was what? A low down what? What she claim that she was low down dirty what? I don't know. Oh, low down dirty bitch. And she told her to get out of her house. But you know what? He checked her. He checked her real good. This doctor going to tell her if he has low emotional intelligence. intelligence. In other words, Haley, you dumb as fuck. I was like, heavenly. She didn't catch that. You let that man sit there and say that to you? She didn't catch it. Baby, I caught it. I caught it as soon oh, as he God. said it. I caught it, I caught it, I caught it. Mm. Couldn't have been me. I was like, first time with my <laughs> Yeah. You might be the doctor, but you ain't finna talk to me like this. No emotional intelligence. Just like saying she a monkey or something. Well, I ain't gonna say monkey. A lab that's... rat. Yeah. Oh my god. I was like, this little plastic fucker. <laughs> he just said it. And did. But he did, and she didn't catch it. So hey, we're gonna keep it. But moving. he checked her. He checked it was her for real. He checked her. Because I was like, I had to rewind that sound of that man didn't say that. <laughs> yes, he did, because it was on all commercials. So he said it. 
I just need to send the question in to Andy Ooh. for the reunion so I can see how she felt behind it once right. she realized what he said. Right, 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 right. Um, hmm. I would have been play with them me. fighting words. Like she said, like who was it? Uh, Simone said at the beginning, those fighting words with her smokers <laughs>, laughs. Yes, those would have been fighting words up in Doctor's house. I'd have yes, knocked them little pictures over that he had. I would have been like, "Say what, motherfucker?" Yeah, I'd have threw some pillows at him. Say and that some again, beef. baby. Oh, I've been again. like little scrappy. I'm gonna drop these paws on you. <laughs> he said that woman ain't got low no emotional, emotional intelligence. intelligence. Wow, just I have no words but anger. <laughs> I kind of had a little fire go down me when that happened. But hey, it ain't me. He didn't say it to me. No. But I would have kicked the bitch out of my house too, though. So I guess I got it too. Mm. Just don't say it to my face. But I found something very interesting, though, when he was talking to her and he asked her about her childhood. She compares Mariah to her sister. That's why she can't say him. So we already know their relationship will never be healed because her, her sister got a lot of healing to do. And she got a lot of animosity towards her sister. So hmm. they would never be click tight. Never. And he tell her to go home and work that shit out. Ain't gonna happen. But they going to Miami. But it's just three of them Welcome going to Miami. To Miami in Benin, your army, army. It's just the doctors going. True. The little peons didn't go. True. So you gotta get her man. Let me get it to you. Bitch. Baby, this is your I don't know. I'm just not feeling Tori this season. I'm gonna say it every show. Because I don't like her this season. Uh-uh, you're a bad. Just uh, over it. Over it. <laughs> but yes, and I just... See, I was talking about Samoka, Simone and her laugh. Because her laugh just kills me. It's like she's coming out of the damn chimney. <laughs> but that's what do she smoke? smoke? They ain't never showed it. But Simone, do you smoke? Baby, I mean, it sound like it. The way she be la Have you ever paid attention to how she be laughing? Yeah, because that. I tend to laugh like that, but no, I don't smoke. No, you don't laugh like that. But I don't smoke. Hers is just a real laugh. Like she smoke. Bro, like you don't train, long you laugh. Okay. Train smoke, smoke. Like <laughs> she smoke off camera. Mm. If you do, keep it off camera, boo. <sighs> but we hear it in your voice and your laugh. <laughs> So, is this time for Fitney? Yes. That was fun. I wouldn't mind doing their Fitney. <laughs> I'll do dodgeball. Yeah. Baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lisa would dodge them balls. Like the Matrix, Ooh, baby. I said, <laughs> He was getting it. <laughs> I said, go ahead, Cece, then. But you know what? That damn Eugene. <laughs> Babe, I'm surprised <laughs> Heavenly did not have a concussion behind it. <laughs> Ooh. And you're going to say, ooh, my bad. On that note, I think it would take me a shot. It's too late. It is too late for him to be hollering, ooh, my bad. Because he knocked all the senses Heavenly had out. <laughs> Which need did she have in it to begin with? She got to have some, but she a Danis. A Danis. A Danis. A Danis. I don't like the Danis. Danis. But yeah, she got to have some. But that was too funny. Mm. Okay. Maybe I'd let it melt a little bit. So the whipped cream, whipped cream can go down a bit. <laughs> but yes, Prime I mean, it. that was the funniest part of the show when he knocked me, <coughs> knocked the piss out of her. My head! <laughs> And I was like, how did you not see her? Oh, my bad. And all I could think about was scream. Bitch went down. Yeah, bitch went down. See it. Super bitch. Bam. Bitch went down. And that, But you know what? 
that would heavenly ass get because she was trying to give him a ride. <laughs> well, she did get out. But that's what she get. She got paid back karma as a bitch. Mm-hmm. And it was in the form of Eugene and that ball. <laughs> <laughs> but that was funny. That was funny. And the spouses end up winning dodgeball. Mm-hmm. Oh, joy. Yay. Jackie is messy as all I love people. it though. But yes. I love it when she messy. But you know what? I thought about first season when she tried to do the lemon squeeze. This was a physical activity. Sort of like her lemon squeeze that she did to have everybody that's got conflict to work with each other. Jackie got she the saint now. She she know how to calm everybody down. She has a calming presence, mm-hmm. but hell no, she messy. Mariah took the shit out of me. She said, I'll rather work with Trump than to work with Heavenly. Either uh, way, she screwed. And Heavenly said, well, she said, I'd rather have my tea pool. And then she said, I'd rather have some hemorrhoids removed. So, they didn't want to work with each other. Mm-mm. I just, uh, that was, that was funny. And you know what I did not appreciate? What? I did not appreciate. And Toya, that's why they call you Tacky Toyota. Contessa takes her over to the side away oh. from everybody and mm-hmm. apologizes. She don't really have to apologize to you because she didn't do anything to you. It was your punk ass that did something. You disrespected her right. and her husband. Right. Then you did it when she wasn't even there. So you ain't got the balls to do it in her face. She one of them type chicks throw the rock hatch hands. Bitch, I'm gonna throw some rocks in and show you my hands. Oh, I, I when I tell you I don't fight this hoe, I ain't feeling toy. I I mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. I don't know what Bravo did. Even when she was on Watch What Happens Live last night, I just wanted to go through the TV and take that brain out, that braid out her head. I missed it. I'm not feeling her. And I think, I didn't watch all of it because I was getting ready for work, but I think Jerry O'Connor kind of called her on her shit too. Didi? Mm-hmm. Was he hosting? No, he was there because, you know, he got a new show that's going to oh, come yeah, on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, he was just there. You know, he's a Bravo super fan. So right, yeah, right, He, he right. had his two cents, and he had some pretty good stuff to say about all these folks because he will call you on your shit. And I think he did say something to Toya about how she was acting. Mm-hmm. But she not. <laughs> Bitch can't say nothing because she ain't got no brain. Bird brain. Bird brain. Crybaby music. Yes. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that was unexpected. I don't like her. And then the last event that they had, they had to jump into like a ball pit. Heavenly moving like a dang sloth. <laughs> what? <laughs> what Mariah say? <laughs> well, we know that bitch don't float. She ain't boy. She yet. ain't a boy. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't even make it to her flag. Woo! It was just like she jumping in slow motion. Because <laughs> I was like, what the heck? <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> Lord she Jesus. couldn't make it out. But they did win something. Mariah, yeah, they won. Mariah and, and her won the basketball. Yeah, they won. Mm. <laughs> she was funny, though. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Man. Man. It is what it is. It was just fun. Fun things to do. And then the event comes to an end. And Curtis, you nasty. Ew. Ugh. Oh, you tell me. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. You ain't get enough of that, Curtis. Didn't you get enough? In South Carolina. Mm. On the blogs with your two cases, checking in the hotel. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. I just I can't leave even that look at Curtis like that, though. Ugh. But you know long. what? Oh. <laughs> Females don't care. They don't care. They see somebody with a little clout. Thirsty women out there, but Curtis these hoes ain't loyal. No, hell, him and Greg gotta know. <laughs> they both got added on the blogs. Which Catch that. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, he ain't gonna be 
be able to live it down. Hell no, nah, they ain't even show Lee Dick Greg no more. <laughs> <laughs> but they gonna show him next week. I'm here for it. Being an asshole. I'm here for it. I love my wife. You don't even say I'm convincing. No, but did you hear him on the Frank and Wanda show? No, what is that? It's a radio show in Atlanta. This is the same chick that got into it with Cat Williams the other week. Okay. <laughs> yeah. the gun out. Pull it on yeah. your head. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have to go back and listen to it. It's on YouTube. What he say? It was interesting. He he convinced me. That what? He loved his wife. He convinced me about that marriage. It was a farce. It was flugazy. Is that right? Flugazy or fugazy? Fugazy. Fugazy. It was fake. I mean, it probably would. Hell, they shouldn't have got married to begin he with. He said in the interview that she moved out of the marital bedroom two years after they were married. Hmm. So they got married in 2012. So in 14, you moved out the bedroom into the room that you was already sleeping with in. With the rocks in the with, sink. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and the little colorful ass dogs. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that mm -hmm. look like pillows. Yeah. Pillow pets. Well, I mean, you know, it is what it is. I, I can kind of, but you know, whatever. We don't, we really don't know they hold us. I just know from jump they shouldn't have got married because when they called out the wedding the first time. When they got, got arrested. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't have got married. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, mm -mm, that wasn't good. Yeah. No way. It's a bad. No good, girl. But, y'all, so what else happened? That's oh, ho, ho, ho. we left off the last little dinner. No, we were getting to that. Oh, ho, ho. I was progressing to that. Yes, bitch. We ain't feeling you, toy. At all. Let me, let me, let me get down here. <laughs> toy. Mm -mm. You ain't right, girl. It's not right. And it's not okay. Because you making a mountain out of a molehill. It and is not that deep. That. It's not that deep. Mm -mm. It's not that deep. How about you give Quad some of that same fire that you're giving Contessa? Because Quad wasn't there. Cuz. Explain me that, girl. Feel like she can run over Contessa. Contessa got that soft little voice and she's always friendly. I mean, because we ain't never really, really seen Contessa hot. But she feel like she wanted them she can run over. But no. That's not how these things work. But I mean, because Contessa was calm and cool with her the whole time. And baby, when I tell you Contessa ordered that food, had me laughing I'm about to die. Because she was like, bitch, you ain't worth my time. I'm finna eat this I'm food. I'm finna eat this food. And then she would get ready to leave. She said, oh, hell no. I'm going to come back and sit down and eat my food. You, you can go. And Contessa said at the end. I like that. But yeah, I just thought that whole little end scene was unnecessary with Toy. You being a total drama queen for nothing. A biznatch. Uh-uh, bitch. I don't like her. <laughs> I don't like her. Because it, it really... It didn't make any <sighs> sense to me. Because she came there. Hey, girl, how you... Are we giving out her... You just... You maybe just she jealous. something. You think she jealous? You might be. Because... Just think about it. Contessa is in her dream home. Contessa making hand over fist money... Compared to Eugene, just think about it. They got two, two doctor, doctors salaries coming in and, and a military, military check. Hmm. They living their best life over there, girl, with their badass kids. And her knock around cars are Bentley. Hmm. I like that little Honda minivan, though. Know, but mm -hmm. the little knock around cars are Bentley. And what she was, but she need them Honda minivan for them shoes. What well, and you know what I thought that was very practical, cause you know I'm like I'm glad I didn't see her. I mean they may have a Range Rover or something like mm -hmm. that, or a Navigator or Escalade, but I was glad to see them with that. I mean cause, cause Honda ain't too fast. Victoria did used to have a Porsche uh, SUV. Mm -hmm. She hit that she in a Volkswagen. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
Lord Jesus. But they ain't showed that Volkswagen no more either, though. But she ain't been in no car either. We ain't seen her getting at the car. Not on the car we seen was when her and Eugene went looking at houses, and they both was in that one. That was a Porsche SUV. Mm, no way. But it was a cheap one because it didn't have the back windows tinted. Maybe that was a Lyft or an Uber she was in. No, she was driving. Oh. Uh, never mind. And it, Lyft have signs, little pink signs that let you know they Lyft. I might need to go drive for Lyft. Hi, right, Issa Ray. Yep. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do the last episode of Insecure for this week. Um, are you going to join me? I might. Yeah. Because, mm. uh, Issa, 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 Issa. Pressed like a panini. Baby, we got to talk. She pressed like a panini. You too, Miley Squared. Bring Molly Square back, because I like her. Molly Molly is a bitch. <laughs> she got a stick up her ass. Oh, Lord. What's, the, what's his name? What's the little boy's name? The little Chinese boy. That look cute patootie. If you wouldn't have asked, I would have told you. She doing him wrong. She doing him dirty. It ain't Nate, because that's who he's suppressed about. Andrew. Yes, Andrew. Hey, Andrew. You can get it. But yes, he, he was, was really cute. A, he was. He was really cute. I need to know his real name. With his little man bun. I had it looked up. I had I saved him on my Damn. I had him did it. No, because he was like Does he have an Instagram that I can follow? Yes, he does. I just wanna look. <laughs> and I'm the stalker. But yes, girl, Issa, you got some problems. Yes, his name is Alexander Hodge. Hmm, okay. I'm going to go look him up afterwards. I, mm-hmm. I, I'll send it to you because I found him when I was on Nathan's page. <laughs> <laughs> they was all together. Nathan? No, no. Are you going to take this last shot? Show sure. have it, girl. They pregnant. We got to finish this. Jesse Cody. I ain't even married yet. Yes. Oh, yeah. We're going to also review Big Brother. But stay tuned because I'm going to release a list of all the shows we're going to be reviewing for the fall and spring. Because most of them, well, not most, but some of them don't come back until the spring. Jennifer will be doing some on her own. I will be doing some by myself as well. Uh, what else? Um, we have some new shows coming this week, Friday. We're going to have yeah. How to Get Away with Murder. I'm going to do Grey's Anatomy. You better get on board the Grey's train. I may do American Horror Story. It's just my schedule is a little crazy right now. So all the shows that I really want to do, I can't really do them because I'm kind of like behind. And I want to do all the CW shows too, but yeah, a lot of people not interested in the CW. No, shows. it's not, but I I love them. But yeah, I really want to do American Horror Story and maybe Nine One One. But I know for sure together we'll be doing continuing like the Real Housewives, mm-hmm. Married to Medicine, maybe Love and Hip Hop Atlanta together. Yeah, and Little Women of Atlanta when yes! they come back because I need my juicy fix. Um, Y'all have to excuse when we talk about them because I really don't like little people, but we're going to keep that moving. <laughs> I don't really watch the she show. She see them and she go the other way. I don't really watch the show. I like to listen to it because I can't really look at the screen. But <laughs> I still like them little messy helpers. And, of course, if you're a big Game of Thrones fan, yes. we'll be reviewing Game of Thrones when they come back. Yes. Um, they year. haven't given a release date, but... The rumors are rustling around saying that it'll be late April, early May, which will be great for me since it's around the time for my birthday. But just go ahead and log on to YouTube and subscribe to our channel. Like, comment, and share. Yay! And when you subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you know when we post new content. Because it's coming. It is. We're about to ramp up, okay? Yeah. You're going to get sick of us 
calling you, but we need your help. Like us, share, comment, and subscribe, okay? It's not that hard. Not also, that hard. the recipe for these shots, these cinnamon roll shots, will be in the description. I think she didn't have too many cinnamon rolls, but okay. <laughs> yeah. Overall episode rating, what would you give it? I'll give it a B. What about you? A B minus. B minus. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. Toya's bringing your ratings down. <laughs> she needs to be fired. Yes. Bye, bitch. Yes. I don't like her. She may be kind of borderline not want to watch it because I get sick of looking at her old pity ass. But, ugh, whatever. I'm over mm. her. Sorry, Toya. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for We me. can't be the only people feeling like that about her this season, though. Raise your hand if you're sure. Oh, you see my tattoo up here. Yeah. You so petty. Yeah, this is my Game of Thrones inspired tattoo. I'm the queen, baby. Okay, Cersei. No, I'm Daenerys. You wait till I get my mother a dragon shirt. Khaleesi. Misa. I miss them, and I think I might start back watching them. I remember they had a, a little release date. It said if you start watching Game of Thrones some month or some weeks ago, and you watch an episode every night, You'll be caught up by the time the new show premieres. Heck, I watched all the episodes and all the seasons in like a week. Oh, yeah, because I did too. And I got hooked. Now I'm ready for more. Well, ain't gonna be no more after this. <sighs> you know nothing, Jon Snow. You know nothing, but Jon Snow. I miss my little Game of Thrones people. I miss them. But we talking about Married to Medicine. Oh. Now. So we're going to sign off for now. I think I'm going to go in the kitchen and make me some more of those cinnamon roll shots so I can watch Love and Hip Hop, a little bit of wrestling, and Monday Night Football. Come on, man. I'm going to bed. Bye. Y'all have a good one here. Night. Bye.